Hey, all right. Well, this is August 9th, going over the UFC 117 between Anderson Spider Silva and uh, Shale Sonnen. And those of you that watch the fight are still probably shaking your head, wondering how this could possibly happen. How could a guy that landed 289 strikes on a guy that had only been previously hit 208 times in his entire like fight career, or in his last 11 fights, and then he gets 289 strikes on this guy, and he doesn't win. And, you know, you can know all the ground and pound you want in this in this uh, uh, theater of, of sport here. You can uh, do it all day long, but if you can't do it, you just can't do it. And that's what we saw with a wrestler, and that's Shale Sonnen, uh, doesn't have what it doesn't know how to strike well enough to make them effective. I mean, yeah, they land, but if there's nothing behind them, you don't count. I mean, Anderson Silva did more damage with elbows from the ground, up, shooting them up, shooting the elbows up, than Sonnen did when he was on top. Now, for the in the first round there, Shale landed some solid shots, and you stood there and watched, and you're like, wow, is this really going to happen? No, no, it wasn't going to happen. He dominated the four rounds, just dominated. And then he got in, got careless a little bit there, let a little bit too much, stuck that neck out too much, and got choked out. And and it was quiet because for you know for 23 minutes of a 25 minute fight, he was winning. He was he was blowing him away. He was getting 10-8 rounds on some of the scorecards. I don't understand how they do the 10-8 rounds and in that sport because I mean, he didn't like knock the guy down I mean he took him down a lot so I guess that's you know their way of justifying it you know he really controlled and dominated the round I guess that's how they roll it so and, but that can be subjective you know it can be real subjective but there was no question he was winning the fight if it went to a decision he had it wrapped up it backed off could have played it safe didn't and he paid for it. He paid the ultimate price in the fact that he lost and he didn't lose. He got choked out. And you know, Triangle got cinched in. And you know, I mean, some things have opened up for Sonnen now. I mean, obviously people are going to want to see him fight all the other, you know, top well, middleweights out there. Uh, but the light heavies. And, but... You know, that's, that's the wrestler for you. I mean, yeah, it's great. You know it. And you can take him down and you can... Uh, you like that? You you want some more of that? But if you if you can't get your entire body behind it, uh, it you can land a billion strikes and it's still not going to win you the fight. It's still not going to do it. The fact he landed 289 strikes with your 5-ounce gloves and stuff like that, and still couldn't knock him out, and still couldn't damage him to where his face looked like, you know, pizza. Yeah, Shale, you need to get a boxing coach, bro. You need to actually learn how to how to fight. Instead of just grabbing people and taking them to the ground, holding them down. You yeah. know, yeah. And like I said earlier in the prediction vid, until somebody can match him in strikes, they're not going to beat him. You're not going to beat Silva until you can match him in strikes. Yeah, you can out-wrestle him. That's that's great. You can out-wrestle him. But if you can get him down, but you can't do anything afterward, you're not going to be able to, you know, you're not going to be able to beat him. And that's the bottom line. You saw now how dangerous Silva is. You think you have the fight wrapped up. You should have the fight wrapped up. It should be in your back pocket, and you should be able to walk out of that ring. You landed 289 punches on him. And you lost. That's got to be tough. Yeah. I hit you 200. I don't care who you are. I hit you 289 times. You go to sleep. Well, you'll have that. And that's that's how this is. You know, that's how the game is. There, I mean, You don't have to be a professional boxer or a fighter to, to succeed in that sport. So, can Shale do it? I, I don't think he can. I don't think he'll ever hold a title in the, in the sport. He's a great wrestler. Congratulations on that. And he's got great heart, and nobody can take that away from him either. And he isn't a guy you would want to run into on the street because he'll wrestle you to the ground for a long time. 
So, but as we saw, you know, until somebody can match him, match Silva in his striking, they're not going to beat him. Not going to have him. So, that's that's my take on the fight. Uh, I think uh, if Silva gets a little better with his uh, ground game, it's it's. I mean, it's already lights out, but it's going to be lights out. That was a little off. He didn't knock him out, but he did choke him out. So, yeah. Did I call it triangle choke? Did I call that? No. Oh, did I? I might have. Anyway. Big Ragu. Uh, yeah. I'm out. <laughs>